This video discusses the four main surgical procedures available to women considering surgery for stress urinary incontinence. Stress urinary incontinence is when urine leaks from the bladder when coughing, laughing or exercising. The first procedure, the mesh tape, is where a piece of plastic mesh is inserted to support the urethra. This is a day surgery procedure with a quick recovery and has been a standard procedure since 2000. However, there are safety concerns that prompted several countries to review this procedure. Scientific research shows that some women develop complications, such as mesh erosion and chronic pain, that may require partial or total surgical removal of the mesh device. It is not possible to predict who will have this kind of response. Long-term risks of mesh remain uncertain. The second procedure is colposuspension, sometimes called hitch and stitch, where the vagina below the bladder neck is lifted and stitched into a new higher position. Colpose suspension has been a standard procedure since the 1960s. While it is major abdominal surgery, it can be performed via keyhole for a shorter hospital stay and quicker recovery. Some women, however, may develop vaginal prolapse that may require further surgery. Another option is the autologous or natural tissue sling, where a sling of your own tissues is placed under the bladder neck to support it. This is also a major abdominal operation. A cut is made in both the vagina and abdomen. While it often has a higher cure and improvement rate compared to other procedures, there is also a higher risk of difficulty emptying your bladder and some women will need to self-catheterize. The fourth and final option is the injection of a urethral bulking agent, where a gel substance is injected into the walls of the urethra to bulk its size, allowing it to remain closed with a better seal. The gel itself is a medical device and the day surgery can be done under local or general anaesthesia. Recovery time is the quickest of these four procedures. However, there are some uncertainties about its long-term success in controlling incontinence and repeated injections may be required for a top-up. If the injection of bulking agent fails to control the incontinence, this has no effect on the success of other future continence surgery. However, if one of the first three procedures doesn't work, the chances of cure or improvement after a second operation are reduced. For further information, Click the links in the description to help you choose the surgery most suitable for you.